A state high court in Oweri has ordered the final and absolute forfeiture of Royal Palm Spring Hotel, another property said to belong to Senator Rocha Sokorocha and other members of his family. The forfeited properties are contained in pages 226 to 272 of the Imo State Government White Paper reported by a Judicial Commission of Inquiry on Recovery of Lands and Other Related Matters. According to the ruling by Justice Fred, in Manze, who was sitting as a vocation, a vacation judge, Okorocha's counsel failed to give concrete and verifiable reasons why a final and absolute forfeiture order should not be given in favor of the Imo State government. Justice in Manze added that the suit filed against Imo State government by Okorocha's counsel was not properly filed. He also described it as a surplus sage. A term in law which means a useless statement completely irrelevant to a matter. Justice in German Zay maintained that the white paper gazette by the Imo state government is a legal binding document. The judge concluded that there was no concrete reason before it why the forfeiture should not be made absolute and final. Hence, the Imo state government can go ahead and do whatever it deems fit to do with the properties. As for persons who might have made purchase on such properties, Justice Njemaze said they are at liberty to approach the court to prove their titles. However, the properties as of today have been returned to the Imo state government. Justice Fred Njemaze had on February 26 given an interim order of forfeiture on the properties, urging Senator Rocha Sokorocha to approach the court to showcase as to why a final and absolute order of forfeiture should not be given over the properties following an application brought by Mr. Louis Aliose, Senior Advocate of Nigeria on behalf of the state government. This prompted the Korocha's counsel to file a preliminary injunction to stop the final forfeiture, citing forceful eviction, and that the suit by the Imo state government was not properly instituted. Some of the properties forfeited include 1. Eastern Palm University, Ogboko, 2. Royal Palm Hostels and Apartments, 3. IBC Staff Quarters, said to have been illegally acquired for the purpose of Rocha Foundation College, 4. Oweri Magistrate Quarters, Olu Road, Cooperative Offices and Girls Guide allegedly converted to private use, Housing Market Square and Kilimanjaro Itri. 5. Public building situated at plot B2, Otamiri South Extension Layout, given to the Ministry of Women Affairs for establishing a skills acquisition center for women, allegedly acquired for the benefit of Inyoma in Kechi, Okorocha's all-in mall along Aba Road. 6. Plot P5, Nanze Residential Layout, initially part of Primary School Management Board, but now annexed to all-in mall along a bar road belonging to Mrs. Nkechi Okorocha. And all the properties contained from pages 222 to 227 of the government white paper on the recommendation of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into Land Administration in Imo State from June 2006 to May 2019. So the court are just giving a final order of uh, for feature. You know, this battle between Amrocha Sokorocha and the incumbent governor, the current governor of Imo State, um, has been ongoing. Whatever the cause of their uh, their reef is, we really don't know. But we know um, a couple of times Rocha Sokorocha has spoken and he's, to him, he doesn't see what he has done that is uh, making him go through all of these persecutions. But he believes that um, some persons from Abuja, that is the way he puts it, that some persons from Abuja are the ones who are controlling and manipulating Hopo Zodima against him. And he believes that um, they are all politically related. Let's not forget that these two, they are from the same party. They are both members of the All Progressive Congress. They are both chieftains of the All Progressive Congress. Well, since the court has given that final order, all the court has told Rocha Sokorocha is that um, if he feels that um, he has more evidence, he has more proof that um, this um, order, because pre prior to this time, it was um, a temporary forfeiture that was given. But right now, the court has just um, decided that it's going to be permanent since Rocha Sokorocha has not provided any concrete evidence. Wow, these are loads of properties. Seven of them are listed here, and also there are more 
uh, that are on the pages of the white paper. They are really, really, uh, this this will amount to a lot of money. But you know, every time Rocha Sokorocha has always argued that these properties, they were not built or they were not acquired, rather, they were not acquired by the state government. What uh, uh, Hope Ozodima is arguing, what he's uh, um, after, he's stating that Rocha Sokorocha acquired all of this property from the state fund while he was governor of Imo State. You know, it was um, uh, uh, Hope Ozodima who succeeded Rocha Sokorocha. And ever since then, their relationship has turned sour. Whatever the cause or whatever turned that relationship sour, uh, we don't know. But what the people of Imo State are after is that um, let justice be served. If truly, truly Rocha Sokorocha acquired all of this property from um, the state's fund, then something is missing because we should know very well that um, um, these are the things that are meant to uh, be beneficial to the people of Imo State that someone has just, um, uh, um, just um, taken for himself. But Rocha Sokorocha has always stated, he has always declared, well, he, he should just prove it in court. It's not enough to say it. He's always stated that um, it was a, he, was, uh, he had money before he became governor, that even becoming governor made him poor. He's always stated that. And, um, you know, for the Eastern Palm University, he stated that um, he did not use the state funds. It's not enough to say it by, by words of mouth. You need to you need to be able to prove that. You know, there's something that they normally, a declaration they normally make before you become governor. You make a declaration. So most probably they should go and check that declaration to know what he was worth before he became governor. And after he left as governor, by the time he was leaving after his uh, two terms, uh, what, uh, uh, his, uh, <laughs> what his accent, accent declaration. So I think with that, they will be able to check. But um, our politicians, can we really, really trust them? It's quite surprising. So the court has given this final order of uh, for feature. All of these properties, they are all linked to Rocha Sokorocha. Some are in the name of his wife, some family members, some friends. They are all linked. Seven of them are listed here. Eastern Palm University, Royal Spring Palm, Hostels and, appoint and Apartments, IBC Staff Quarters. A whole lot of them. This is really a lot. And um, if it, like I said, if it is truly true that uh, Rocha Sokorocha di diverted all of these funds and acquired all of these from the state's funds, then <laughs> there is serious problem. That is what they call Wahala Day because if he had done this, all of these properties from the state fund, it means that the money that is meant to develop the state, he used all of this um, to acquire all of these properties. We'll wait and see how he's going to challenge this, if he's just going to allow sleeping dog lies, or if truly they are his, I don't think he will keep quiet, he will fight it to the end. We'll see how all of this plays out. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned, and please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye!